In the Northern Song Dynasty, there was an upright, fearless, and incorruptible government official who was justice loving. He interfered with the royal family and dismissed 30 high ranking officials for wrongdoings during his service. This government official was none other than Pao Chen, and he is a symbol of justice in the Chinese culture. Pao was his surname, and Chen was his given name. Other honorific titles include Justice Pao and Pao Qingtian, meaning as clear as the sky. Chinese operas and dramas depict Justice Pao with a dark face and a crescent moon on his forehead, while in reality, he had fair skin and did not have the crescent moon. Justice Pao was born on the 5th of March, year 999 AD, in Shenxian, Hefei, which is present-day Feitong County at Hefei District. He was raised in a middle-income family and he understood the pain and unfairness faced by the low-income commoners. Hence, he hated corruption and wanted to be a magistrate to implement justice. At the age of 29, Justice Pao passed the Qing Shu Imperial Exam which is equivalent to the present-day Doctor of Philosophy degree. Being a filial son, he deferred his magistrate appointment for 10 years to take care of his elderly parents. Justice Pao was wise and had a knack for solving unusual cases such as the ox tongue case. A farmer came to report that his ox had its tongue cut off and was dying. Justice Pao knew it was the doing of the farmer's enemy. Hence, to lure out the culprit, Justice Pao told the farmer to kill the ox during the night when no one would be around. In the past, it was illegal to kill an ox and Justice Pao knew that the culprit would be monitoring the farmer so that the culprit could report to Justice Pao and get the farmer punished. Indeed, the culprit came to report the following day and Justice Pao was able to punish the culprit. Justice Pao hated corruption and he eradicated the practice of inkstone manufacturers giving government officials the valuable inkstones in quantities more than required by the court as tribute. Justice Pao did not take a single inkstone with him when he left the prefecture. Justice Pao held several different appointments and at the age of 58, Justice Pao was appointed magistrate of Pi An, the capital of the Song dynasty, present day Kai Feng. He changed the processes for commoners to report cases, and commoners could directly report their case to the courtroom without going through the corrupted outer clerks. Justice Pao was a well-respected magistrate even by the emperor. The emperor gave him a sort of authority which represented the authority of the emperor, and this allowed Justice Pao to execute the criminal first without getting permission from official channels. Justice Pao passed away on the 3rd of July, year 1062 AD, and he left his family with a set of instructions, where any descendants who were not as upright as him would be disowned. Justice Pao exhibited values like filial piety, righteousness, incorruptibility, and unwavering sense of justice. I am grateful that Justice Pao existed in Chinese history, and we can emulate his good values which are still relevant in today's society. In today's materialistic world, it's rare to find someone as upright as Justice Pao who remains true to his beliefs.